and welcome to my backyard. That's a reflection of me in my back door. Inside you can just see a few of the rainbow flags that I've got hanging around the house. That's my outside fridge. When I painted the house, all the colours I used got squirted onto the fridge just to change its colours. Basically a First Nations sort of influence on it. My undercover part of my decking, clothesline, pumpkins that I picked out of my garden, capsicums and stuff, sweet potatoes, potatoes, zucchinis. In the middle of my back decking I've created that big stone area so I can put the fire pit down on the tree to pine without any worries. Pot plants, my mother's uh, orchids which I inherited and have repotted. And there are new spikes which will be flowers later this year. Some of the spikes just there. And on the edge of the decking I created a great big stand with I don't know how many plants. They were all over the backyard at one stage. Looking at the decking there's a rose bush. If I was standing on the ground that would be as tall as me. A hibiscus with a yellowy orange flower on it. All of my, I can't think of the name at the moment. But they're all plants that stand about as tall as me. I'm there down onto the grass area off the back of the decking. That's where we were. And just to look at that same area with all the plants on the stands. I just like my garden to stand there and pick little weeds out of the pots and stuff like that. Just plants. A workbench I made. It's on wheels so it moves. It's on brakes. So, and timber which I'm going to put into the garden I use for edging and stuff. And all this area here had all those plants just scattered all over it so I made the stand so I could keep the things in order. Another little bit of my garden, no reflections of me this time, there's no mirrors or glass in the backyard. So this is just my bit, what I call my orchard. These trees were all planted about four years ago this time. It's my lemon tree, lime, which has grown hugely. Apricot tree, that was, sh nearly up to my shoulder when I planted it four years ago. It actually gave me fruit this last season. I have a nectarine and a peach tree. I don't know which one this is. Nectarine. So this one must be a peach tree. They're losing their leaves because it's that time of year, I guess. Yep, there's my tree. And this one, I've always wanted a grapefruit plant so I went to the local nursery and asked for it and they said oh, I've only got this poor plant which they gave to me for half price and believe it or not we're getting a grapefruit on it just for size that's my hand against it so it's it's getting there now we'll start in the veggie patches these are all true to pine sleepers which I've actually put into the ground they're 75 mil thick 200 by 75 by 3 meters of sleepers. They're about 34 kilograms of sleepers, so they're heavy little buggers. Uh, these are just plants that I've put in. I believe that plant is going to be a purple cauliflower. When all this silly coated stuff started, Bunnings ran out of seeds and things, and I grabbed whatever I could because I had a garden giving anyway. There's different coloured beetroots, I don't know what they're going to turn out, but they'll turn out. Self sown potatoes, it's my normal white cauliflower. We could do that was about that mini insect little bit there, it's grown that much in a week. Uh, around this side of it. Iceberg lettuce, I'm just starting to shape out in that. 
cut the spuds on the harvested out of that spot in the middle. This bed was full of capsicums and chilies, I finished. I showed you the basket up the veranda before with the capsicums in it. It's my favourite yummies. Rhubarb, down in there somewhere there's a rhubarb plant. One day I'm going to build a new garden bed and put the rhubarb into that. My new trellis, which I've only just put up along the side of the shed. That's about six metres in length. What are they? The sugar snap peas. In the front of it, that's actually purple sweet potato. Some sweet potato I've potted up for later. Broad beans in the garden. And they are snow peas and hopefully they're all going to grow up in that trellis nicely. Uh, around the corner we've got purple, is it blueberry or blackberry sage? It smells beautiful, love, bees love it when it's flowering. Compost bin one, compost bin two, and two more garden beds to make them which are about a metre and a half long, uh, a metre deep. And I've got to put dirt in them one day. So that's about the tour of my whole garden. I'm standing right at the back fence. Hope you enjoyed the tour.